Hey guys, welcome back to Engineering Education. In the last video, we solved uh, this really small problem here where we're given the apparent power of an arbitrary three phase circuit that's equal to 10 kVA. And we're also told that the true power is equal to the reactive power. And they wanted us to find the, the true power of the circuit. And the way we solved it was using the power factor relationship we did power factor is equal to cosine theta equal to uh, true power over apparent power and then we did the sine of theta is equal to the reactive power divided by the apparent power solve for theta put those um, two relationships or two expressions together substituted p for q and then solve for um, solve for p um, but there is an easier way of doing it and I didn't realize this until after I posted the video, but we can take advantage of the fact that S is equal to P J Q. And solving it using this equation here is a lot simpler. You don't have to take any arc cosines or arc sines or use the solve feature on your calculator. You can just do this out by hand if you'd like, or just, you know, basic, um, you know basic arithmetic here and so what we can do here is we can take the magnitude of s right and so when taking the magnitude magnitude of s we square p and j q and then take the square root of it so we simply get p squared uh, plus q squared square root and that gets rid of the imaginary parts for us and we no longer have to worry about those and just rearranging this just squaring both sides here and dropping the, the absolute values here we get s squared is equal to p squared plus q squared and then we can rearrange that again uh, in terms of um, you know, solving for p is which what we're looking for here. So p squared is equal to s squared minus q squared. And doing our substitution of p equals uh, q, we get that s squared minus p q or minus uh, p squared is equal to p squared. And now just using these two expressions here we have a much easier way of solving for for p than we did before we can add p squared to both sides and get 2p squared is equal to s squared and now we can solve for for p we can solve for p here as the square root of s squared divided by 2 and then when we plug this in, we get the, the same value that we did in the last video, just, you know, in a simpler way. And I, I would recommend this way over the ones in, in the last video. And here we still get the same 7.07 .07 kilowatts. So did you find this useful? Let me know in the comments below. And until then, enjoy engineering.